Hi! In this video, I'll share some PowerPoint chart animation secrets that can come in quite handy, especially when you are a beginner in PowerPoint. First, let us take a few seconds to understand why we need to animate a PowerPoint chart. Please realize that there is a significant difference between an Excel chart you consume on your computer and a chart that is presented to you by someone. In the first case, you are an active consumer of the information, which means you have the time to go through the Excel chart in detail. If you don't understand any part of the chart, then you can go back to the chart again and understand it in detail. Whereas you don't have the luxury of time when you are just a passive observer of a PowerPoint presentation. The second difference is you have the option to explore the Excel chart further, which means you can click on the chart, go to the data source, change the chart type and understand the information in the way you want. Whereas as a passive observer, you don't have the option to do any further analysis of the information that is presented to you. So when you are the presenter who wants to present PowerPoint charts in a boardroom, please realize these limitations that your audience faces. And we use custom animation to overcome these limitations. We reveal the information in stages so your audience doesn't have the overwhelm in understanding the information. We highlight certain important aspects of your chart so you can guide your viewers attention to the specific parts of the chart and that ensures that they understand your information with more clarity. So when you use custom animation for your PowerPoint charts, you do so with a purpose. Now let me show you how a typical business slide is presented with PowerPoint animation. This is how a typical business slide looks. Most of the time there is no animation used, especially when it comes to data presentation. Sometimes when it is used, then it is used only for decoration. For example, you select this and you say fade and then you select this and then you say fade. So you are able to go to slideshow when you present and you have your chart appearing on a click and then you have your information appearing on a click. Now, this kind of an animation doesn't really make any difference to the clarity of information or in helping your audience to overcome the overwhelm. Now let me show you how to use custom animation with purpose when you present a chart. The first thing you do apart from using a simple fade animation or whatever animation that you want to use for your chart is to go to this option here called effect options. And this is the most important thing when it comes to presenting your chart animation. You go to effect animations and you have the option to animate either by series or by category. Let us say what happens when I click on by series. And then let me choose the text part and apply a simple wipe animation. This is typically how the animation is done. Now, when I go to slideshow, instead of showing the entire chart in one go, I click and reveal just the two axes of my chart. This allows me to set the context for my presentation so the audience understands what is being presented. Then on a click, I present the chart information and then I present the explanation. This is definitely a step up from the usual way animation is used. Now let me take it to the next level. Many people are not aware that it is possible to combine animation with the explanation. Let me show you what I mean by that. First, I explain the axis. Then on a click, I present only the first part of the information and the corresponding explanation. And then the second part and the third part and the final part. This kind of explanation makes it easy for the audience to understand each part of the chart with clarity. Now, how do we achieve this? It's very simple. Let me go back to the previous slide and let me show you how I did this. Here is the slide. Let me select this. Now, instead of using by series option, I'm going to use by category option. Now, what that does is it allows me to present each of these category elements on a click as you can see here. Here in the previous animation, I showed this entire piece in one go and that is what is shown here. Let me remove that. Instead of choosing the entire text box, I am going to choose each of these bullet points first and then I am going to apply my animation, which is the same wipe from left option. And I'm going to say this happens after previous. And then I'm going to move these explanations to the corresponding data points. For example, the first one I'm going to move right next to the first data point, then the next one to the next one, the next one to the next one, and then the last one remains the way it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be moved up. Now let us see what happens when I go to slideshow. 
on a click I show the axis then on a click I show the first data point and its corresponding explanation the second one third one and the fourth one with the explanation so that is how you present the information along with explanation and this is something that many presenters especially the beginner presenters are not aware now there is a way to take this presentation to a whole new level when you integrate this explanation as part of the chart itself let me show you what I mean by that here I present the information like this first I explain the axis then I say in the year 2021 we achieved a very healthy sales number of 17 million dollars and after the COVID died down in 2022, the market assisted our growth and as a result, our revenues grew to $23 million. Based on the successful performance of the previous two years, we expanded our operations and that resulted in a jump in revenue to $31 million. And this year, we are expecting to achieve the magic number of $50 million as revenue figure for the company. Can you see how this presentation is vastly different from the traditional way of presenting a chart on one side and the explanation on the other side? Of course, this requires a bit of preparation and whatever we did earlier in terms of moving the data point and the explanation together is exactly what I did here. The only difference is I wrote the explanation as bullet points and animated them with a simple floating animation and had it right next to the data points like the way that you see here. There is not much of a difference in terms of the animation technique, but the presentation technique is different because of the way this layout is made. There are two other useful tips that I want to give you before we close this presentation. The first one is take advantage of the fact that you are presenting in PowerPoint, which means you can use external elements to highlight pieces of your chart. For example, if I want to show that Bob is the highest performer for a particular month, I can animate like this. And I don't really have to do any major circus. All I did is just added a simple rectangular bar from the auto shapes menu. And then I used a wipe animation. So I bring the viewer's attention to this relevant point. You can apply this technique to any type of chart. So your audience gets better clarity. The last tip is how do you animate a chart that you pick up from external sources? It could be from a website or from a book. Here is that same image I stuck on my PowerPoint slide and see how I'm able to cover the pieces of information that are not relevant for my discussion. And then on a click, I can reveal each part of the animation like this. And you wonder how exactly I achieved this. And I did this by using exit animation. Let me show you the technique that I used. This is the picture that I picked up from the website. Now I added a shape. Let me go to shapes, go to this rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle, which covers this piece of information from the top till the end and I'm going to make it slightly thinner and you can observe that I am just covering one piece of information at a time because I want to reveal each piece of information. Now I'm going to press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place it right next to the previous one. So I can press Ctrl D again, 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 again and I can make the movement. So each of these pieces of information is covered quite nicely. Then I select all of these. Then go to shape fill, go to white fill, go to shape outline, say no outline. And I'm going to use custom animation and the animation that I'm going to use is exit animation and it is a simple wipe and this happens on a click. So each of the animations, each of the exit animations happens on a click like this. And that is how I presented even a picture with relevant custom animation. In fact, in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which is a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates that help you make your presentation with impact, you have quite a few interesting chart templates that you can use in your presentation. All you need to do to customize the chart numbers is to right click on the chart and then go to edit data and you will have the corresponding worksheet open. You make the changes here in the numbers and you will have the information reflected directly in the chart. So it just works like a simple chart that is built inside PowerPoint. So there is no problem in learning a new way to edit your charts. Now, the important announcement I want to make is we have released our dark version of our chart templates. So you can see that this is the darker version and this is the usual version and both are available for you to download when you get your comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. There are different chart types and they look equally impressive even in the darker variation and any type of data driven chart like this is available in the darker version. 
Let me show you the one final example. This is the regular chart and this is the darker version. The link to our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and explore more details about this product. If you are interested in improving your PowerPoint charts, then we have a useful playlist for you. I will leave a link to that playlist right in the description box below the video and also on your screen right now. You can click on the link and watch this video next that will take you to that playlist. And if you want to join our 5-day free email mini training called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas, you can click on the link here. So go ahead, click on the link, join our course and I will see you inside.